Now, surely many of you already know that Bray Wyatt is temporarily on the shelf because he found himself getting into a multi-car accident this past week and suffered some at least somewhat serious injuries and had to be transported by ambulance to the hospital. Bray Wyatt, this magical, mystical figure, can't quite figure out how to drive. Hmm. Maybe he was too focused on being the eater of ass and not focused enough on the road ahead. Now, as we found out, reports have indicated that Bray himself was the cause of the accident because he wasn't focused while driving. He was distracted driving. And he ended up running into a car that ended up going left and hitting another car. Let's make this perfectly clear. Distracted driving is dumb dick driving. I hate these a-holes that sit there and their freaking text can't wait. WTF, LOL, hashtag LOLs for girls, hashtag eyes on the road, a-hole. Like, what are you doing that's so important that you can't focus on this killing machine that you're driving? It's ridiculous. It tired of sitting and waiting at green lights because people want to sit there and play on their damn phone. I especially get pissed when I pull up to a stoplight where you've got the turn lane and you get that short little green arrow and you know you're car number four and car number four sometimes makes it or not. And the reason you don't is because the asshole up front took forever because they were playing on their damn phone, playing with the damn kids, playing with them damn self, maybe all combination of all of them. If any of you do that, fuck you. Like, seriously, if it can't wait, then you shouldn't be driving. Or if you can't wait, then maybe, just maybe, the person that you're associating with that's causing you to feel like you have to text or do something else to distract you while driving isn't exactly the right person to be around in your life. Trust me, Bray, JoJo can wait for rides on the fucking mini horses, okay? She can wait! When you get done driving, call her ass and tell her go ask her dad, Jose, for some damn money. He's got plenty of it. He ripped off Major League Baseball for millions. But anyways, distracted driving is ding-dong dumb dick driving. Just don't do it. Now that, of course, is the official narrative and the official story. But you know me. I'm always down for the real scoop, the real story. Some might call it batshit crazy conspiracy. And you know what? Sometimes you're right. But sometimes there is an alternate reality that is much closer to the truth than is given credit for. And there happens to be a part of me, a big part of me, that really truly wonders if this was just one nefarious plot by one mastermind of an individual to try and get out of his child support. The thought being... They can't come for you if you can't work. What's a good way to make sure you can't work? Wreck your damn car. And there's some collateral damage in the process with other people. Who gives a crap? Bray, it don't work. Believe me, I've thought about how many times if I just wrap this caddy around this light pole, if I wrap it around this stoplight, if I wrap it around this tree, then maybe, just maybe, I won't work for a while, and then we'll come get child support. Well, ding dong, dumb dick, it doesn't work that way. And what the bluest of blue fucks makes you think that it's a good idea? Hell no, that ain't gonna make a difference. All that's gonna happen is while you're out of work, you either A, have to come out of pocket, which means more money for you to spend to try and get a change in the amount of child support that the court has ordered to be taken out of your check, or what's going to happen more likely than not, you're going to go even deeper into arrears until you feel like you're constantly taking it up the rear. The whole tagline for child support should be like, it's like a proctologist exam for 18 years without the smile or the lollipop. I know what he was thinking. He's like, I'll show this bitch. Ah, she wants to divorce. I'll give her a divorce. She wants more money. Here's your more money, bitch. Well, you might as well have went. 
the other way. Because that ain't how child support works. That ain't how the world works. All the other things in the world that are set up to benefit men, child support ain't one of them, believe me. I cry that trail of tears every two weeks when I see how much is garnished out of my paycheck. I know you know the feeling, Bray. Oh, I know you do. The bottom line is, since you didn't make sure she was on birth control, since you didn't make sure that your pullout game was strong, since you didn't just put it in her ass and not there like the fuck I would advise you to, since you didn't want to sit there and go by plan B, oh, because we were married, ah, oh, bullshit, because you didn't want to do things the good old-fashioned American way before it was legalized through Planned Parenthood and shit. Wait a few months and push her down the stairs. That'll take care of it. He has a whiskey afterwards. America! Well, you got married. You got sprung on that puss. You put a couple of youngins in her, and now you're going to pay, and you're going to continue to pay for the next decade plus. Ha ha! Life's a bitch. It makes you go broke, paying child support, and then you die. And Bray, believe me, if you think it's bad now, hell hath no fury, <laughs> fury like a woman scorned when it comes to your ex-wife trying to get more money out of you because you're a dumbass that's in there buying many lists of fucking JoJo. What the hell do you think is going to happen when you sit there and put a baby in JoJo? The best thing you do at this point every night is one, two, three, Bob's your uncle, angry dragon. Angry dragon. That's what you do. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Fucking chili dog or if you need to to get her. Uh, who knows? JoJo's nasty ass would probably be into that stuff too. If you won't know what a chili dog is, you turn between her tits and you fuck her with it. <laughs> maybe just maybe that'll be a way for you to avoid going even more into arrears with your child support. Throwing it out there. Car accidents, they're not getting it done, Bray. Nobody can hear you scream because, sadly for you, you'll be paying child support until they're either 18 or you die in your dreams. And that's the way it is, Bray. You could be this mystical figure looking for Sister Abigail. But the fact is, you're just another jabroni with a massive child support bill. So maybe, just maybe, because you're not going to have that much disposable income because, again, you got multiple shorties. So you're going to be coming out the ass in child support. Well, you know what? Fuck it. At this point in time, you already have two damn kids with the ex-wife. You might as well put one in JoJo because joke's on that bitch. She ain't getting shit. Maybe pay attention a little bit more on the road. Because I highly doubt you can continue to afford to have these types of incidents. And for any of you guys out there that think you can take the easy way out, you can't renounce your rights, you can't use logic, try to evoke sympathy from the baby mama, the child support court, all of that ain't going to mean to hella beans. You're going to do something about it, then you better go all the way Kevorkian style, or you just swallow your pride, your dignity... Suck it up, big boy, because indeed, you're going to be taking it in the rears for the next several years to come. Joke's on you, Bray. <laughs> Why, your daddy used to sit there and ask, you haven't paid your taxes? One way or another, Bray, child support doesn't have the same backlog like the IRS does. One way or another, oh, you're going to pay. You're going to pay. You're going to pay! So pay attention on the road and pay your damn child support. It's all you can do.